basic makeup of this blank is a rigid polyurethane foam with three cedar stringers glued in. And the stringers do, they give this blank rigidity. If we didn't have the stringers in here, the, the blank would just flex like a sponge. It, it's pretty soft, really flexible, but without the stringers, it really would be flexible. They give it a, a, a tension, a flex pattern that's unique to each board. This one has three offsets, and this is what our team riders like. They like this flex pattern. Um, the foam is a U.S. blown foam. It's a company called U.S. Blanks. They blow the foam over in Gardena. Uh, the, this particular blank was cut off a CNC machine for us, which has been digitally scanned from one of our models by a company called ProCam, which is a really not top-notch job. Uh, I particularly like the polyurethane foam because it's easy to shape. It contours very easily. You know, blanks used to be done out of wood, which was a lot harder to work with. It would, you know, maybe one or two days to shape one board. Nowadays, you could do, you know, multiple boards in one day, even if you're starting from scratch. It just shapes unbelievable. Styrofoam, it's coming along. We've been using it for the last couple of years. It's still it's more difficult to work with. It doesn't fine sand out as nice as this. It's a little bit more difficult in... Uh, procedures, the beads fall apart a little bit more, but this is just still I think the optimum for shaping surfboards.